Good morning, everybody. So a couple of things that we're going to start looking at or delving into under your leadership and management in health and social care is, first of all, understanding the principles and philosophies of health and social care, which comes from our policies and procedures. So if we don't understand our policy and procedures, first of all, how can you be meeting the regulations? How can you be meeting the single spectrum framework? How do you know that you're compliant? And how do you know that you're delivering care in a safe, effective and well-led manner? And that's on the assumption that the policies and procedures are well written and are aligned to the single spectrum framework and laws and legislations. So I've done a short training video on policy writing. I've given you a template and your first task is going to be to review our current policies and procedures. So you'll receive an email later from Shaq with a set of policies. Your role will be to review them, put them in the new format. So as I've given in the instructions to the policy, and then I want you to email one over to me um, so I can review it before uh, you go on and do all of them because I want to make sure that you've got the format right to begin with. Equally, it's really important that you specialise in those policies and procedures because it's what's going to underpin all of your answers uh, to regulators and all of your answers uh, to CQC. So the second thing then to consider is the... Um, supervisions. So again, I've done a video on supervisions. All of the staff need to be supervised. It's, it's, an, it's a, a crucial role for developing, implementing and monitoring staff. Uh, effective supervision isn't just a case that you're having a conversation, but it, you are actually developing people and, and that there is an audit trail of that. So this link from Skills for Care gives you everything that you really need. Uh, I've done a training video for this, so watch the training video as well. Uh, there is a guide for you to download and read. And again, there's some templates there for you to have a look at and a checklist. And what I want you to, to do is as a team, I want you to review this because by the end of the week, I'm gonna have a meeting with you all and we're gonna establish what our supervision process should look like by the end of the week. Remember there's two types of supervision, there's the formal and informal. So I just want you to have a look at that uh, and see how you get on. Anyway, best of luck, any questions, by all means, give us a call. Take care, bye for now.